<laughs> you know what, guys? I'm not even going to waste any time uh, getting into this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn your notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Uh, for anybody that didn't see this coming, I mean, I mean, seriously. I mean, you saw it in the series in Washington and off the year. Everybody said I was crazy for saying it. But you saw the warning signs there. This offense is dreadful. There's no approach at all. Absolutely none. This team cannot hit with runners in scoring position. Uh, they, they fail with runners on base. They fail with no runners on base. This offense has no approach at all. And there's no possible way that Kevin Long can keep, keep his job after this, this disaster. This absolute disaster where you win 95 games in the regular season and you get walloped in the first round in the National League Div uh, Division Series. So the Phillies, uh, for the first time uh, since 2011, you know, after that magical 2011 season, will be uh, getting eliminated uh, in the National League Division Series once again. And I think that there's a real possibility that manager Rob Thompson will lose his job. I think, I think he deserves it. I mean, the mismanagement uh, from the bullpen, I mean, obviously the bullpen has just been, the bullpen was horrible. It was so bad on so many levels. So many guys that you had, you put a lot of trust in. I mean, guys that even went to Arlington for the All-Star game, so many guys that you put, put trust in uh, didn't show up at all. Jeff Malvin was horrible this entire postseason. He was horrible. He was dreadful. And there was really nobody in that bullpen. He couldn't even make the right move if he tried. And I think some of it is, you know, hey, you know, some of it's just bad luck. You know, I think that, you know, judging by the computer standards of analytics, he didn't make the wrong move. But at the same time, he really has mis mismanaged his team. I mean, he, he really has. And I, I, mean, I don't think it's all his fault. I definitely think Kevin Long deserves most of the blame. There's no way he could keep his job. He is gone. 100% he is gone. But the fact that this team has no plate approach at all is disgusting. It's, it's ridiculous. This, this team has no approach at all. They go up there and they just they look horrible. I mean, they, you know, Trey Turner, his front hands flying out, uh, you know, swing. He, he just he, he looks terrible. I mean, this contract to me. I mean, obviously the numbers do speak for themselves, but I mean, just go out and sign another three hundred million dollar player, see what happens. I mean, my goodness, I'm tired of so so many so much money at these guys and don't do anything. You know, in, in a postseason when it really matters, when it really matters. You know, and, I mean, we saw this coming. Any, like I said at the beginning, anybody that didn't see this coming, I mean, I, are you blind? I mean, from the from the you know that moment. I mean, even in June when the when the we got you know we lost you know we lost that you know, that second game in London in the London series. This team has not been the same, and it really was just getting worse and worse for a while. And even in that stretch uh, of play, even when we went on the West Coast and got absolutely destroyed. I mean, we did win that two out of three in, against the Dodgers. But even when we went out to the West Coast and got absolutely destroyed, and went on that horrible stretch where we got swept by the Yankees. You know, we you know we had the horrible road trip out you know um, you know and out in the Midwest with the with the Twins, uh, a team that also collapsed at the end, uh, who didn't even make the postseason. The the writing was on the wall. The writing was on the wall, and you saw it in the final series in D.C. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the offense was silent. I said it, that is a warning sign. That is a major concern. The fact that so many of our starters and so many of our regular guys were in the lineup and we couldn't do jack. Against the Washington nobodies, uh, the Washington Walgreens, we couldn't do anything against them. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's just, it's just pathetic. I mean, it's just absolutely pathetic. And then we, you know, we played this Met team. I don't even really want to comment on it. I, I really don't. It doesn't. It's irrelevant. The Phillies collapsed. It no matter who they played. The Phillies were outplayed this entire series, uh, and it does hurt to lose to the division, especially the Mets. I mean, with how their fans are and. You know, whatever. Hey, hey credit to the Mets, man. I mean, you know, they showed up to play. We didn't, and that is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. I don't care what the Mets do. Win the World Series. What I don't even care. I care about what this team does. I don't care what the Mets do. If they get the great, if they get knocked out in the next round, great. I, I don't really care. I, I'm not happy that this team didn't move on. You know, anybody, in my opinion, that's you know rooting really. I mean, obviously, I, I would like to see the Mets, you know, get knocked out for obvious reasons. But uh, you know, even though they do, I, I mean, okay, I mean, cool. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, you know, I, I'm upset that this team didn't move on. You know, that that's the bottom line. And you embarrass yourself. And this is a story that people are going to talk about for years, for years, especially if the Mets do do something here. Uh, you know, remember, in, you know, in 2024, when the, when the Mets eliminated the Phillies in the National Division Series, this is something that's going to be talked about for a while. And this was a, a you know, and Jack Fritz and James Seltzer said this. I've been listening to their, their, their podcast and their post game. This, is, this was a franchise changing evening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This, is, this really determines uh, a lot of future decisions. Um, and this team isn't getting any younger. I mean, it, it's just the wasted talent 
and the mismanagement and just the mass amount of under the over, the underwhelmingness of this team it's just is horrible it's 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 horrible ladies and gentlemen i mean it it really is just it's it's unwatchable and and to watch I mean, JT Muto, a guy that you know really was showing a lot of fire, you know, the final weeks, you know, a couple of weeks of the season, when he goes up there and he can't do anything with Ronald's core position, as he always does, he can't do anything with Ronald's R.B. seemingly, uh, and it's not just him. I mean, Alec Bohm, he was horrible. I mean, this guy was a disaster. He was really a disaster for the final couple of months of the season. Obviously, he did have that injury that really set him back a little bit, but I mean, so many guys who made the All-Star team were just really just not the same uh, to finish off, you know, the, to finish off the year. Um, and even in that second game in, uh, in Philly, uh, I mean, that really, I didn't really feel good. About, I mean, obviously we walked off. I didn't really feel great about that win. I mean, the only reason why I won because the Mets didn't hit again. I mean, my goodness gracious. I mean, that's the only reason why we won. Uh, I mean, you know, our bullpen couldn't put them away. Our bullpen was horrible. And, and I, I always thought the Mets bullpen going in, you know, the series was horrible. I mean, I, I still don't think they're real good, but I mean, this bullpen, I mean, it really topped that. I mean, my goodness. I mean, this was just, this is just, heart, this is heart wrenching. And, 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 and when you're in a position where this city, um, you know, you're looking for hope. I mean, you look at the Eagles, they've been terrible. I mean, they, they've, been, they've been horrible. I mean, Nick Cerrone totally mismanaging that team as well. Um, you know, the play calling is horrible. And so it's, 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 it's hard to find hope right now in the city when it comes to sports. Uh, hopefully the Eagles can turn around, but the NFC East is definitely looking stronger, you know, by the day. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm not here to talk about that. But, um, you know, I, I, with this Met team, I mean, they definitely seem to have that, that you know, that, 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 you know, there's been a lot of teams over the past, you know, multiple seasons. We saw it with the Nationals in 2018. We saw it with the Braves in 21. We saw it with the Phils in 22. And we saw it with the Diamondbacks last year where this team that gets, you know, really hot heading in the postseason, the Mets seem like they're, they're in that, you know, team right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they won the World Series. I really wouldn't be. I really wouldn't be because I've been wrong so much, you know, in, in discrediting the Nationals in 19 discrediting the Braves in 21 that I just, nothing would surprise me. Do I think they're going to win a World Series? I don't know. I mean, who knows? I don't care. I really don't care. I would like to see them not win a World Series because I just, I do not, I just, I don't like that organization. I don't like the fan base. I don't want to see them win, but I really, at the end of the day, don't care. I care about if we win a World Series. And, that, and that's the most important thing at the end of the day. But you won 95 games. I understand, yeah, you won 95 games, but the past, I mean, the, the second half was dreadful. It was so bad. It was so bad. I mean, obviously, there were, were a couple weeks there in September where you started to play a little bit better just to limp your way in and win the division. But I tell you what, the Braves are fully healthy. I don't think we would have won this division. There's not a doubt in my mind. I don't think we would have won this division. I think the Braves having the injuries that they had, you know, this is just an obvious statement, obviously really helped. It really helped the Phils. Um, but it's just it's so disheartening. It's just so disheartening to, to go through this again. I mean, this is just even more painful than last year with the Diamondbacks. This offense, I just... The approach, there's just no approach. I mean, the, the starting rotation series, not not bad. I mean, Aaron Nola, I mean, he's kind of a choker. I mean, I, I mean I, I'm not going to blame that loss on him last night, but I mean, it's still, I mean, he, he just he just does not, uh, he just doesn't spark a lot of joy watching him pitch, in my opinion. He just he just doesn't. I mean, he, he really looked over, he lost so many home runs. Um, that, that That's not on him, though. I mean, Ranger Suarez went out there, he did his job tonight. That, that's, that was my biggest surprise. I, mean, I thought he was going to get absolutely shelled, and he didn't. Um, but I mean, this is just, I mean, go out and sign another $300 million player. I mean, David, I mean, seriously, I mean, you don't make any moves at the deadline. This Austin Hayes, I mean, give me a break. I mean, that's your only move. I mean, this guy, he was, he was a disaster. He a disaster, you know, uh, just a flat out. I mean, this guy, he, he can, he a beach ball, you know, his at bats again, like the rest of the team, no approach, like just going up there blinded seemingly, uh, so that was one of the worst. I mean, the, the, the trade deadline once again for the you know ever since the Browns season, he really hasn't had a good trade deadline. Another weak trade deadline that really comes back to bite you. And this team is a very one dimensional team. I said it going in. I didn't want to say it, but I knew this team wasn't going to win a World Series. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, if you asked me three years ago, I said this team is not going to World Series. I did not think the Phillies would win this series against the Mets. I did not think they were going to do it. I kept saying I didn't say it on here, but I, I you know was telling my friends and everything. I did not think the Phillies were going to win the series. I said the Phillies weren't going to win after the game one loss in Philly. I said the series was over at that point. And I kept saying it over and over. The series is over. Even after the game two, I said the series is over. Uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because the Mets, they're just, they're kicking our butt. Even the one nothing win tonight, I mean, the one nothing lead tonight, I mean, that was a joke. I mean, the, the, the Mets just gave that to us, uh, that, that, the one nothing lead. I mean, I, I don't want you to feel good about that. Um, 
You know, it, it, there was there was no there was no fight. There was no fight. There was no. I mean, the the fact that this game ended, uh, you know, uh, when we had you know two runners on, nobody out, and we didn't get anything. That is the theme, not only of this was season, but of this season. Wasted opportunities, wasted, wasted, wasted. I mean, that doesn't sum up this postseason. I don't know what does. Runners left in scoring position. We can't get them in. I mean, there's no execution skills whatsoever. There's no execution skills whatsoever. And this is the result. Um, so I, I, I think I do think Thompson, you know, should be. You know, I, I even said this on my, uh, you know, my answer to stories. I said this in 2022. If he's not that much different than Joe Girardi, and everybody who kept seemingly, you know, seemed to be ign either ignoring it or just blind to it. Uh, you know, he worked beside Joe Girardi for like like 15 years as a bench coach with the Yankees and a little bit with the Phils. This is a guy that worked very very closely with Joe Girardi. He has a lot of Joe Girardi in him. You know, and you know that just it's just it's just reality. Uh, it's just you know it's just a reality, um, and I, I think that he he just makes a lot of dumb moves. Uh, you know, and I, I just it's just it's just so maddening. It's just so it's so disheartening to go through this again. Um, you know, and then, you know you go back. You know, that's the thing. You play 162 games, uh, and then you just you know you just you know win 95 games. You just absolutely plummeted in the postseason because you don't show up and you're not ready to play. Uh, and this is we were like the Atlanta Braves, you know, Atlanta Braves the past season. That was us this year, you know, probably even worse, you know, probably even worse because you know we, we didn't win over 100 games. I mean, that's exactly what happened. And you know, is the first round by? I mean, that's not an excuse. You didn't show up to play, and that's the bottom line. But it seems like a lot of these teams that have the first round by, they can't do anything. You've seen it time and time again. Atlanta Braves, Los Angeles Dodgers, New York Yankees. You've seen it time and time again where these teams that have the first round by can't do anything. But I really do not. I mean, again, I said I didn't care, and I still don't really care, but uh, I won't be watching the rest of the postseason. But um, I, I really just don't want to see the Mets going. I mean, if they do, I mean, whatever. But, I mean, I prefer to, you know, hopefully they do get eliminated. But I don't even care. I mean, I just don't. I mean, it just – I'm not happy that this team didn't move on. It's embarrassing. It's something that's going to be talked about for a while, for years to come. Um, and, again, this team isn't getting any younger. I mean, was 2022 our peak? I certainly hope it wasn't. But because that season definitely had a lot of magic. I remember coming on – in that, you know, in that you know, in that video recapping that game six in the World Series, I remember you know saying, giving this team a pat on the back and saying, you know, what, or giving that team a pat on the back and saying, you know what, we weren't expected to be here. Um, you know, the fact we made it this far, you know, fought six game World Series. I mean, pat on the back. I, mean, I wasn't happy, but I mean, the, the, I mean, the, you have all this talent. I mean, you know, Trey Turner. I mean, Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber. I mean, all this talent. I mean, Alec Bowman was an All Star this year. You have arguably one of the best catchers in baseball, and this is what you do. I mean, there's there, the expected. This is a World Series or bust season. Even if they would have made the World Series and lost, disappointment, failure, and this is even a more of a failure. Uh, the fact that you get knocked out in the first round by a division rival, a, an arch division rival, even more of a rival, I'd say, than the Atlanta Braves. Uh, we despise the New York Mets. I despise the New York Mets, but you got to give them credit. I mean, they they came to play, and we didn't at the end of the day, and that's all that matters. I don't even care. I don't even care. Um, you know, I just, I'm disgusted with this team. I'm disgusted with this organization. I'm disgusted with the decisions that we've made. Um, you know, and I, again, it's not, it's not a blame you can put on one guy. It's, it's a, it's a collective group. Kevin Long is definitely gone. I definitely would say that with a, you know, a lot of certainty. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of moves here that need to be made. There's a lot of moves here that need to be made. And again, the rotation, I mean, it just, obviously it was weaker, you know, as the season went along, but that's not really what, that's, that was not the best thing of this whole entire series. The rotation actually wasn't that bad, but the, the bullpen, I don't know what happened, man. The wheels just fell off. I mean, what happened to that bullpen? I don't understand it. I mean, it's just, when you asked him as the guy allowed the grand slam tonight, you know, the one door, I mean, I, I mean, it just, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to, he was, he was okay. Uh, this postseason, obviously, you know, that wasn't the best moment for him, but um, Jeff Hoffman, the worst of all. I mean, he it, that was just, that was shocking. That was really shocking. A guy who you know, went to Arlington was an all-star. Uh, it's just it was really disheartening to see how bad this bad this this Wolfman was. But I said it before and I'll say it again: the offense was showing the warning signs. They were showing the signs of all these strikeouts. This massive amount of strikeouts. We saw it in the month of September. We saw it in the month of August. The strikeout rate was alarming, and nobody was seemingly was talking about it. Why that might be a concern in any of the postseason? Well, here we go. We're out. You know why? Because we couldn't hit. We couldn't hit. We didn't have execution skills. We couldn't execute and get things done. And that's the bottom line.
That is the bottom line. And we we couldn't we couldn't make anything happen. We had so many opportunities. So just the amount of opportunities, it's just it's terrible. I I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It is just it's it's it is just horrible. It is 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 just it's just uh, it's just, it's just untalkable. It's just it's it's unwatchable. I mean, it really is. And I'm just I, I'm just put us out of our misery. I mean, seriously. I mean, just like I, I I'm almost there's almost a sense of relief that it's over. I mean, I, I just was just this was not bringing me peace to while. It was giving me anxiety watching this team. Uh, this was not a peaceful thing. So I'm just glad. It's almost like, you know, it just, just put it out of its misery for crying out loud. I mean, this is just, this is ridiculous. Um, so again, even that win in Philly, I mean, that was just kind of just like, you know, it just, you know, the only reason why we won, I feel like is because the Mets didn't hit again. So yeah, uh, you know, another scene, I mean, this is even, I mean, this is worse than the last two years. I mean, 2022, understandable. You know, you weren't supposed to be there really um the Mets have that fire though man they have that you know they're hot you know they had that that thing you know almost like the, it's just you've seen it so much over the past decade that team that you know just happened to sneak in and they just they just got out at the right time and they might just win the World Series who knows hopefully they don't but I nothing would surprise me we've seen it time and time again uh or they just might make a deep run who knows I don't care I, I just I don't even care I'm, I'm just so disgusted with this organization right now it's just it's just it's I can't even put it in the words. It's just, and you have to do it all over again next year. So that's just the whole process. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn on the bell, like this video, comment on this video, share this video, check out social media, the description section at Philly's House of Instagram. So uh, yeah, tough one guys. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you later. I'm just glad it's over at this point. I'll see you.